Okay, so today I'm going to talk about one of the biggest issues here, and maybe one of the least known issues um, at RSA. And that's the fact that today more and more traffic is getting encrypted. So what do all of these companies have in common? Twitter, YouTube, OneDrive, Yahoo, Box, a lot of the, the websites that generate the most traffic in the world. One of the reasons why they're, they're all similar is they all encrypt traffic. So every time you go to YouTube, every time you go to Yahoo, Mail, every time you go to Dropbox, all of that traffic is encrypted. While that's great for user privacy, it creates a blind spot in security defenses. So today, 35 to 40% of internet traffic is encrypted. In fact, we um, have some service provider customers that have disclosed that that number is reaching 50% of all internet traffic. And for some organizations, it could be as high as 70%. And Gartner predicts that by 2017, 50% of all attacks will use encryption to bypass security controls. And yet, despite this issue, most organizations today do not decrypt traffic at their firewalls, their UTM appliances, or their IPS. So they've invested millions of dollars to keep their network protected, to look for threats, and yet tons of attacks are passing them by without detection. One of the reasons why we've seen such a big growth in SSL traffic is this guy. It's probably got a familiar face for most of you. It's Edward Snowden. In 2013, we learned from him that NSA and many other governments throughout the world were looking at um, citizens' traffic. Because of that, a lot of application owners have scrambled to try to keep connections secure, and they're using SSL to do that. In addition, there's uh, privacy watchdogs like the Electronic Frontier Foundation that are publishing reports that show how secure different websites are. They show, they have like the little report cards to say which websites use SSL, which websites use perfect cord secrecy. And because of that, all of these application owners are trying to compete with each other to show customers that they're the most secure. There's a lot of other drivers for um, SSL growth. Another reason is that search engines like Google they're trying to promote SSL, actually rank websites higher if they support SSL. And why is this an issue? That's because attacks can hide in SSL traffic. And basically, this shows how the entire attack lifecycle can occur over SSL. And if you're not looking at SSL traffic, you're blind to these attacks. For example, you have a bot herder who, who gets malware from some sort of third party um, developer, posts it on a drive by download website. Users that download that website, if it's encrypted, um, that will go by unseen by any type of security device on your network. In addition, malware can be sent via secure email and as an attachment. If you're not looking at that encrypted traffic, again, you will not see the infection. Similarly, attacks can be um, sent via instant messaging, and also that can be encrypted. So if the user's infected, you have no idea about it because of the, of the encrypted channels. Now, you might think, well, that's okay, because once the compromised user tries to go out to the internet, we're going to see it and stop it. Again, the malware can actually connect out to the internet over SSL. And so what they can do is they can go to a command and control server over SSL. Or some more devious malware can actually connect um, and send files out through Gmail and through Yahoo email accounts, which also is encrypted. So if you're not looking at that encrypted data, all you do is see a user going and accessing a Yahoo mail server, you can't look at the traffic. You don't know what's going on. Similarly, there's some bots uh, software that can get uh, command updates over Twitter accounts. So there's some Twitter accounts that are designed to send like uh, attack information through Twitter. So a user, or so a bot will connect into this Twitter account and then know which IP address to attack via DDoS attack through Twitter. And Twitter is one of the encrypted sites. So that means that all of the security products that you guys probably have today, your data loss prevention, your next-gen firewalls, your SIMs, your intrusion detection, all of these products need to look at network activity, and they need to look at not just clear text traffic, they need to look at encrypted SSL traffic. If you want to get the full usage out of these platforms you've probably invested a lot of money in, you need to decrypt SSL traffic. So what do you do? That's where A10 comes in. We have our SSL Insight technology. It's included with our load balancers. It offers extremely high performance SSL decryption. So what happens is when users go out to the internet, we can intercept the traffic, 
decrypt it, send it to your security devices, maybe your firewalls, your IPS, your IDS, um, non-inline devices, your FireEyes, um, and then send it through the security device inspects it, then we can re-encrypt the data and send it to the internet. In this configuration, we have two appliances, but it's possible to do a single appliance configuration as well. Some of the advantages of SSL Insight include security. Obviously, you can uncover threats that are hidden in SSL traffic. Performance. We set ourselves apart by our high performance. We can scale up to 40 gigs of SSL decryption throughput on a single appliance in a sandwich configuration. That's way beyond what anyone else, what your firewall vendor can do, what anyone else can do. Three is availability. So we have integrated load balancing. We can not only make sure that we stay up, we can actually improve the availability of your firewalls and your security devices. Because if one of those devices go down, we can route traffic to another device. And scalability. We've heard from customers that have products like FireEye and many other security products that their traffic is too great to be handled by a single appliance. We can actually route traffic um, to, to load balance the traffic to multiple non-inline devices, allowing you to get better performance from your non-inline device, from your non-inline security devices. So that means that if you have a, more traffic than say like a single FireEye or other security device can handle, we can help you scale out your security deployment. So one thing that uh, we've done is we've partnered with leading security vendors to provide this SSL visibility. So we have SSL inspection partners like FireEye, RSA, IBM, Cyport Pulse Secure, Curator, the IBM uh, Curator folks, Vectra, Checkpoint, we're adding more. We also partnered with DDoS protection vendors and detection vendors, SSL key management vendors, and more.